Hello and welcome to the Creating a Workflow video. In this session, we'll focus on creating a workflow that executes when a record is saved. We'll be utilizing the workflow definition, which defines the target module and when to execute the workflow, the condition, which tells Sugar when to trigger the workflow, and the operation, which instructs Sugar what to execute. The scenario we'll be using in this video is that we'll be working for an organization that sells office furniture. We want our sales reps to be notified when one of our existing account addresses changes. So when the account record is saved with a new Billing Street address, we want Sugar to create a call record assigned to the same user as the account so that they can see if that customer needs new office furniture. The workflow definition will use the accounts module as the target module and it will be executed when the record is saved. The condition of our workflow will be based on when the specific account field called Billing Street changes. And finally the operation is the action of creating a call record linked to the account and assigned to the same user as the account. So let's jump right in. On the administration page select Workflow Management under the Developer Tools panel. To add a new workflow, select Create Workflow Definition in the Workflow Definition module menu. Start by naming the workflow. In our case, we'll type Customer has moved create a call record. The workflow will execute when a record is saved. Next, select the target module. In our case, we'll select Accounts. The status indicates if the workflow is designated as active or inactive. We'll leave this as active, but we only want this workflow to trigger when updating an existing record. If you had an alert and an action executing in this workflow, you can select the processing order of these operations. Once you save the workflow definition, this workflow will display in the list of workflows even though it's not complete. Now we have to add the condition or the trigger for our workflow. This workflow should trigger when a field in the accounts module changes so select the when a field in the target module changes option. Now we have to tell Sugar this specific field so we need to select the field hyperlink and another pop-up window displays. We'll select the billing street and save the field selection. Then click the save button to save this newly created condition. Finally, this workflow needs an operation. At the bottom of the page select create under the actions panel. The action we want to create is a call record associated to the account. So we need to tell the workflow what type of record to create. So in the pop-up window, we select Call. Then Save. Then click Next. In this step, we need to indicate what we want each field to display in this new call record. All the required fields display by default, but we want to add the assigned to user. Once all the fields are added, we need to click on each field link and add the values we want to display. In this case, we'll type Customer has moved. Check for office furniture needs. Then click Save to store that value for the subject field. For the assigned user field, we want to select the same user assigned to the account. So we don't want to select a specific user from a list. We need to select Advanced Search. So we can select the user assigned to the trigger record. That way the call record's assigned user will be dynamic based on the user assigned to the account record. Now let's enter the duration for the call. Select the Duration Hours link and enter one hour. Then click Save to move on to the start date. We want this call record start date to be immediate, so we'll leave the hour set to zero. Based on the triggered date, save this field's value. For the status, select Planned. Then save all the changes you've made to the call record. There's one last thing we need to do to this workflow, and that's selecting the invitees. Click Create, select a user associated with the target module, then Next to select which specific user you want. Select the user who is assigned to the record. On the email sent to the invitees, you can select the user themselves or their manager and the type, such as to, cc, or bcc on the email invite. Then save the invitees to the call record. Now the workflow is complete. Thank you for watching this Creating a When a Record is Saved workflow video. 